LFA fans, we are back. Abel Guillen, I'm here with Alonzo Menafield. He's going to be fighting Octavio. Man, his last name is kind of difficult. Lucerda. Yeah, it starts with an L. Yeah, it starts with an L. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Lucerda, you know, 9 and 4. Uh, Alonzo is coming off of a uh, UFC contender series fight. The fight didn't really, you know, go the way that you wanted, obviously. You know, right. we, we'll talk a little bit about that fight. Uh, you got it about a, like a yeah. month's notice. Yeah. Uh, yep. You go in there, and then we, the guy got you pretty good, like you said. Yeah. You're ready to come back and, and get, you know, get get your piece yeah. of him as well. Yeah. At the end of the round, he got me, uh, and I wanted to get him, but yeah. yeah. It ended up. It ended up just getting stopped. Yeah. But like, that experience, you had about a month. Was that is that like prime for you, or you were just kind of like, no, this is an opportunity. I can't. I'm just going to have to take this one. Yeah, I mean, it's kind of both. Because mm -hmm. me personally, I, I work out year round. So mm -hmm. give me about five weeks to get in like fight shape. Yeah, and I'm ready to go. Yeah. Oh, that's so yeah. that perfect as far as time. As far as time for you. Yeah, that's good. So you know, let's let's tell the LFA fans a little bit about yourself. Like, where are you from? You know, like obviously you train here at Portis, but you know, who who goes in? Who goes into making you you? Uh, me. I guess. I I guess. Uh, I train everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm at Saxon. I do Muay Thai. Then I'm doing Jiu Jitsu at Star. Okay. And I come here and I do Jiu Jitsu mm -hmm. at Fortis. And then, you know, sometimes I travel to Colorado and, mm -hmm. try, and train with the fight team elevation. I got you. So, you know, I'm, I'm everywhere. I got you. And let's, you know, and I think that uh, people like to know, like, well, let's talk a little about Saxon. Because I, I like, you know, Saxon, Muay Thai guy, you know, obviously elite. Uh, you got Charles Bird, you got Babyface Benoit. Tell us a little bit about what it is to train with, with Saxon on the day to day. Oh, yeah. Saxon's old school, you know? So, yeah. You know, he comes in there and he does his old school type workout. So, yeah. I mean, personally, I got to realize that and know, like, it's not going to be too much of, uh, in the MMA world. But traditional, as far as Muay Thai, he's, he's an animal. Yeah. And uh, training with him, it's like, you know, technique, 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 technique after technique. Mm -hmm. and just you keep going, and you know, pretty much that's pretty much it. You know, training with Saxon and all that. Yeah. yeah. And as far as like Coach Say, you know, I think that the best way to explain that you got like very dominant personalities. You know what I mean? These guys yeah. play. You know, as far as Coach Say, yeah, and here in Portis, uh, how do you see that has helped you? Oh yeah, it helped me a lot. You know, Coach Say is like he's on you. And he's like, yeah. He pushes you. You know, to the level where it's like the third person is looking at you inside, like, hey, do something. Yeah. <laughs> he reaches that person, and uh, you know, he, he he has a lot of knowledge in the MMA world. So. Yes. At Fortis, you know, I feel like I'm a complete fighter, mm -hmm. basically going from sack to here, and then doing my jiu-jitsu, mm -hmm. you know, wherever that comes. Yeah, gotcha. yeah, they're definitely different. Though. So, would you, would you, like, who, who would you say was your strength? You think like you're an overall, you see, like you like jits and this, go to the ground, you got the jits, and you know, they do some like Muay Thai, and we'll start kicking. We, we, like, what, what would you say is your your strength? Well, I mean, I fancy myself, you know. A lot of people do it. Mike Tyson. Mm -hmm. I, like, oh, up. I like his style. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I like kicking. So, mm -hmm. with those two, it's kind of like, I, I like punching. I like kicking. Yeah. And I'm starting to like um, the wrestling yeah. and the slams and all that. Mm -hmm. I guess the aspect, because I'm doing that here a lot. Okay. And it's, it's all coming together. Yeah. Well, that's that's like a dangerous proposition. <laughs> and you, you have to check out uh, Alonzo's... Uh, uh, Facebook page because you had the uh, one where you and uh, Saxon were hitting the mitts. Oh, uh, yeah. Talk a little bit about that that uh, that process. Yeah, that, you know, was, we were getting ready for Jolly, Daniel Jolly, mm -hmm. uh, and yeah, he was helping me out or whatnot. And believe it or not, man, I was facing like foot injuries or whatnot, so uh, it was kind of hard. So I put an ankle brace on and we went at it. Yeah, just like it, like swinging. Yeah. It was definitely, it was definitely awesome. It was, yeah. No, it's okay. It's all good. It, it was definitely, it was, yeah, people, you definitely need to check out his Facebook page on that. Uh, you know, he's definitely getting some of that work in. So you got Lucerda now uh, at 9 and 4. He's from Brazil. So it's not like, you know, there's very, like, little footage. So what do you know about him? Uh, I know that he was a southpaw, and then he went to Orthodox. So maybe he's a, a, bit of a diverse fighter on the sands. Yeah. Uh, he has some hooks, and, you know, he does some leg kicks. Mm -hmm. As far as that, me watching it, I don't know if it's, like, Super technical, yeah. But it looks like he throws it with power. Mm -hmm. um, and as far as like him and his movement, you know, he got some, some tendencies that I can like, you know, pick up on to like basically help me out in the fight. But he has tons of experience, so I don't yeah. know what he'll bring. 
Okay. So I'm excited. Yeah, you look, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not great at all. Not great at all. Another big 28, Alonzo Metafield. He's going to be fighting Octavio. We're going to we said that. And we apologize if we said that uh, incorrectly. But you want to come see Alonzo. Again, I say this often. If you don't come catch him in an LFA fight, it's possible he could be in the UFC because his talent is on that level. So come check him out December 8th, Bond Factory. It's going to be a good one. Yeah, it's going to be a good one.